Hi guys, welcome back to Sir Jacob's vlog. I have not a lot for you today. However, we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So thank you for coming back. We're gonna have a good show. We're gonna start things off by discussing some new celebrity news, which is not necessarily new or news. However, it is relevant to me. So I will talk to you guys about Ariana Grande's new single called No More Tears Left to Cry. Um, it is fantastic, honestly. I was not expecting it, but then I saw on her Twitter that she tweeted, no more tears left to cry. And I was like, okay, it's gonna be a slow song. And this will be the intro to her new album. Boy, was I wrong. This song starts off a little mild, but then it just, it, uh, it builds so beautifully. And it's, probably one of my favorite Ariana Grande songs of all time. Moving on from my wife, Ariana, I will now be answering some fan submitted questions. So without further ado, what is my favorite piece of clothing that I own? Oh Lord, I, I did not think this one through. So I'll go through my closet and pick something. Um, okay, so here we have a piece of traditional African clothing that my grandparents brought back from Liberia, Africa. I brought this with me when I myself went to Liberia, Africa just following the uh, Ebola outbreak and that shirt holds a lot of sentimental value and I also think it's gorgeous. And with all of the new uh, Black Panther hype, I think that wearing an African print is acceptable. So I encourage y'all to go out and get some African prints. Next question, what job would I be terrible at? Literally anything where I have to sit down at an office and do little computer works. That's, that's just not my forte. I need to be out there, active, constantly moving. Next question, um, what is the most annoying habit that other people have? Okay, so I'm gonna translate that to, what's my biggest pet peeve? I hate when people chew with their mouth open. Obviously we have lips for a reason. Mo mainly it's so you can shape your words. But the second most is so you can chew with your mouth closed. So why don't you do it? That's my question. Common sense. Chew with your mouth closed. Next question. What is my favorite drink? <laughs> what drink are we talking here? I'm gonna go with um, an iced coffee. I love sweet iced coffee. I don't like, I never drink my coffee black and I never drink my coffee hot. I'm not one for hot drinks except for tea. Um, let's see, what state or country will you never visit again? Uh, none of them. I have enjoyed every place that I have traveled. I love to travel, and I've never been disappointed by some place that I have been. Are you a morning person or are you a night owl? I consider myself a night owl. I would much rather stay up until 2 a.m. rather than waking up at 7 a.m. to go to that wretched class that they call English, which, by the way, failed because my professor is a psycho. So catch me retaking English one, two, three next semester or during the summer, who knows? Um, let's see, next question. I don't like that question. What shows am I into? Ooh, okay. I love The Real Housewives of literally any city. I don't watch Potomac but I have been informed that I really need to start watching Potomac. However, my favorite franchise of The Real Housewives would have to be New York. New York or Beverly Hills. They're both great. Orange County is good too, but I think my favorite would have to be The Real Housewives of New York because um, Bethany Frankel is on that one. The Countess Lou Anne is on that one. Carol Razzaville, AKA The Princess is on that one. I, you just can't top Real Housewives in New York. I also love Riverdale. I am not as caught up on season two as I should be. 
However, I am going to binge it as soon as I can. My favorite characters are Cheryl Blossom. I, I think she's a terrible person, but that's what makes great TV. I also love Kevin Keller because he is authentically Kevin and nobody can change him. What's my claim to fame? Next question. Ooh, what's my dream car? My dream car is, well, I have a few of them. I would love, I've always wanted a Mini Cooper, a uh, either a green Mini Cooper or a Tiffany blue Mini Cooper. I, I just think they're so adorable, but they are very expensive to repair, but I'm okay with that. I'd also love a Range Rover because what celebrity doesn't drive a Range Rover, or at least have one, so I need one. What do you spend the most money on? <laughs> um, I'd have to say clothes. When I get paid, I always go and buy something that I can wear, be it sunglasses, a new shirt, new shorts. I haven't bought shorts in quite a long time just because it's been cold. But now that it's entering the hotter temperatures in the higher degrees, I have to go and buy more shorts. So yeah, clothes is what I spend the most money on. What quirks do I have? I don't know. Um, I don't know, you tell me. Drop that in the comments below if you think I have a quirk. Cause I, I can't really, I can't name that. What movie title best describes your life? Wow. I'd probably have to go with either Catch Me If You Can because I live a fast paced lifestyle and if you can't catch up with me, you're lost. Or The Hunger Games because I'm in college and starving and I need help. Anyhow, next question. Where would you rather be from? I'm assuming that means like, what country I'd rather be from, like native to, or say, oh, I'm, I pr currently live in California. However, I used to be from, so I'd probably say something like, hmm, Spain. I would love to be from Spain. I. I think Spain is just a beautiful country with great architecture, beautiful accents, art. It's just so cultured and I, I'd love to be from Spain. Next question. Who inspires you? Well, first of all, Barack Obama. Second of all, Barbie. Second of all, my math teacher for teaching me that First, second, second is not correct, and that it should be first, second, and third. So thank you, math teacher, for catching my mistake. Um, next question. What is something I will never do again? <laughs> Take English one, two, three with my crazy professor. Don't do it, kids. Um, what do you wish your brain was better at doing? Seeing letters and numbers correctly. My brain doesn't always think correctly when I'm trying to read, and so, as a result, I don't read. So, thanks brain. Next question. What is your favorite book? Like I said before, I don't read. However, I will tell you that my favorite book is The Secret Life of Bees. That book made me cry, it made me sob, I was an emotional wreck the entire time I was reading it because it is just so beautiful, yet tragic. It, as a Taylor Swift song, it would be sad, beautiful, tragic. I recommend reading The Secret Life of Bees, or at least seeing the movie, because it's, it's pretty close to the actual real deal of the book. I'll answer one more question and then I will let you guys go because I don't have really much to tell you. Um, in your group of friends, what role do you play? 
I'm the one that spams the group chat, no matter what. And if you're in a group chat with me, you know this is true. And I don't know why I am the way that I am, but I am this way and I can't change. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Anyhow, that's all I have for you today. So peace and blessings over and out.